I'm Michael, a course developer here at Google and a former nanodegree student. All of the course code for this course can be found on GitHub. The code has been divided into exercises for you, and each exercise has been separated into steps. We highly recommend that you try to complete the programming exercises independently. The best way to learn is definitely by doing. Of course, if at any point you do find yourself stuck, each exercise folder is paired up with a solution folder so you can review the code changes made during each programming quiz and compare them to your own. Something that used to get me through early challenges when learning to code was this quote, the master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. So remember, failure is just a way to verify that you're really working hard and getting out of your comfort zone. I recommend to start each programming exercise by moving to the next project folder rather than continuing on with the previous folder. You'll have plenty of time to build your own apps after you've finished learning here, and staying in sync with the course will save you time and frustration. The code for each exercise step contains helpful to-do comments that Android Studio displays in the to-do tool window. To open the to-do tool window, click on the to-do tab at the bottom of Android Studio. If you don't see that tab, you can press shift twice and type in to-do and then click enter. Clicking on a to-do in the to-do tool window will take you directly to that code in Android Studio. This will be incredibly helpful to you as a student to quickly navigate between required tasks in the code. These buttons on the left side of the to-do tool window allow you to easily navigate to the previous or next to-do item, filter to-do items, get previews of the source around each to-do, and more. Each to-do is ordered with a number. There's no strong need to follow our ordering, but if you do, the code can be compiled without errors at each step. If at any point there's a discrepancy between the videos and the code, the GitHub code repository should be considered the source of truth. Also make sure to always check the text surrounding the videos if you are confused. We will often mention updates or small discrepancies here. If you think we've missed something, you can report an issue.